What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in to the Rock the Watch channel. Guys, today we are gonna do something a little different, okay? I am going to tell you how you can afford a luxury watch. Actually, I'm gonna tell you, yes, you too can afford a luxury watch, okay? So, if you are a watch collector and you have multiple watches like I do, Take stock, look at your collection, okay? And ask yourself if you can afford a luxury watch. So what are the parameters here? Let's set some of the parameters here for a luxury watch. I like to think, let's set a price range. Let's say it's from one of the, one of the major brands, okay? Whether it's Swiss, Japanese, or German, doesn't matter, okay? Let's set a floor of $2,500. We'll say $2,500 is the minimum floor for a luxury watch. Anything over that, we can say that it's a luxury timepiece. Some may go lower, some may go a little higher, but let's just stick with $2,500, okay? I got a box back here of watches. Now this is what I call my like mid-tier, mid to lower tier watches, okay? I got my big boy box. They got all my heavy hitters like Rolex and Rado and Breitling and Omega, stuff like that. But just the regular watches that, I've, that I have collected, this is part of my collection, this is one box that I've collected over the last two years. So there's, this is a 12 watch case, 12 watches in here, okay? That's one every two months, all right? One every two months. There's not a watch in that box that is over $550. The most expensive watch in that box is $550. I got this all spelled out on my little, my whiteboard here. We're gonna go over the watches. I'll show you the watch real quick. We'll talk about price, what I paid for it. And at the end, I've already added up for you, so you don't even need to keep track. And I'll let you know what I could have bought if, dog, what I could have bought if I had not purchased all these. And then at the end, we should ask the question or ask yourself the question, should I buy or should you buy all these watches or do you wanna save up for that luxury timepiece? Now, again, this is all dependent on several factors, your income, other hobbies you have, spending habits, all kinds of stuff, okay? But let's briefly go over, let's take a look at the box and we'll go over what it is. I'll start at the top left, left to right. I'll pull them out. I'm not even going to take them off the little pillow thing. And we're just going to, whoa, hit the guitar there. And we're going to take a look. All right, dude, real quick. San Martin, I don't know, SNO08, whatever it is. I paid $269 for this. Now, guys, when I go down this list, this is the price I paid, not including shipping and some other charges, okay? I, I don't even remember what I paid for some. Some were free shipping, some were whatever, I'm not even going off of that. I'm going on what I personally paid. So you could probably add another $100 plus to that final number with shipping and, and handling and all that other kind of stuff. 269. Islander, ISL 10, 289. Tissot, V8 Swiss Matic, 289. To sew C Star 1000. 495 I paid for this watch. Okay. Trasca Free Diver. Awesome watch. 550 paid for this watch. Here's another great watch. Citizen Pro Master Fugu Limited Edition. 550. Another great watch. All right. Bull of a Wilton. 289. My wife bought me this one, Costco. It's a pretty cool watch. This is a Seiko SSC 637 269. Orient Sun and Moon V4. This is another pretty cool watch, 269. Had to look this one up on Costco, I mean on uh, Amazon, that's where I bought this one. Seiko Samurai Classic, great watch too. Seiko Samurai, $292 from Amazon I paid for this. All right. Zelos Swordfish Titanium, yeah, 42 millimeter titanium. Paid 369 for this sucker. All right. And last but not least in this box, 
of affordable watches. Seiko Alpinist Sarb 017. I paid $470 for the watch. And this is a strap code bracelet that I paid $86 for. Okay, so it's $556 total for this watch. All right. So grand total for those 12 watches, like I said, minus shipping, $4,486. It's right there. $4,486. Name a watch you could have bought for that price. Think of your top, the top brands that you want, Breitling, Omega, Rado, any of that kind of stuff that you could have purchased for that price. Let me bring it up again. $4,486. So you, ch my Zenith Defy, I probably could have kicked it in a couple extra dollars and bought the Zenith Defy. I could have bought two of these and then another affordable watch. You could buy a Breitling for that. You can get an Omega Seamaster Professional 300 on the gray market or used for that price. So yes, you can afford a luxury watch. Now, I know what some people are gonna say, oh, well, there's some of those watches still out of my price range. I'm an AliExpress. I'm a, uh, a, a you know affordable watch guy. I buy my Pagani designs, whatever it is. Let us do the math. Let's say you have a box of 12 and each one of your watches, okay, was $100 a piece. That's $1,200. You still could have gone and got something like the Frederick Constant that I have for $1,200. There's a lot, you can go on the gray market and you can get a lot of fantastic watches for $1,200. So yes, you too can afford a higher end watch. Also, it's also dependent on, like I stated before, other hobbies and interests you have and other places where you place your money. Do you also have a shoe hobby? Do you have a guitar hobby? Because we're all working with limited resources, whether it's a lot of, it's still limited, or whether it's a little. Do you choose to put your money to towards guitars, or cars, or golf clubs, or whatever, or watches? See, it's all where you allocate your resources. So if you sit back and look, do you eat out every night of the week? Because if you're dropping a 20 spot on fast food every night of the week, do the math. That's 140 bucks a week. So you put stop eating out and save your money. Put your money away, save your money. You too can buy a luxury timepiece. All right? Now, like I said before, that all depends on if that's your thing. If your thing, it's your money, you spend it the way you want, I don't care. It's not my business. But I've just shown that over two years of collecting these watches, now I have all the other high-end pieces I bought in between, but that box is over a two-year span. If you span that out, that's once every two months. Can you buy a $200 watch in two months? I think a lot of people can if they manage their money correctly. So guys, I know it's a little bit different video. I hope you liked it. If you wanna blast me in the comments, blast me. I will respectfully respond. If not, I will destroy you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I will uh, respectfully respond. You disagree with me? Cool. If not, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And as always, rock that watch.